So these two will fit hand in hand, lifting weights and life coaching. A foundation of positive solutions to my life have been through lifting weights, through exercising, through a fitness program. Personally, for me, I've um, always, always enjoyed weightlifting and the movements of bodybuilders, bodybuilding style weightlifting is something I've enjoyed for a long time. And unknowingly, I mean, it helped me get through a lot of problems I went through in my early adulthood from um, actually uh, in, in, into teenage years, absolutely as well. So I'm glad I got into it. Um, teenage years, split family. Um, I was a super ectomorph as a young teenager, as, as I'm still just kind of tall and thin uh, now, naturally. And if, uh, if I don't lift a lot, I will just get thinner and thinner, and which is ultimately unhealthy. Um, being thin doesn't just automatically mean healthy. I mean, being strong and having the right amount of nutrients to pass through my body to support um, the living organism that it is. Uh, you know, there's a certain amount of energy for a certain size body. I'm I'm about six foot one, and um, I take like a, a high calorie regimen of nutrition um, to stay fit, stay stronger, stay heavier than I would be if I just kind of didn't care about my fitness or my strength. And kind of discovering how this works through my early, you know, through early teenage years early adulthood, early 20s, figured it out by watching bodybuilders um, about how much food I needed to at least use as a foundation, start with measuring calories, macronutrients, read a book, read a couple of books, um, magazines, and DVDs at the time, and then YouTube, uh, what was going on. Um, and then I took a few different types of personal training classes. Some of them I finished, some of them I didn't. So that was all the way through my 20s. And I became a, a local gym certified personal trainer. Um, I did a little bit of personal training after I worked for a gym kind of on my own. And then I got certified again in 2019. Uh, 2020, 2021, and a couple of different certifications. Um, certified personal trainer, strength and conditioning specialist. And this is through a $400, $500 um, open book test course you can take with uh, International uh, Sports Sciences Association. I might do a review on one of their books. I got that one. I can't see it. I got that one uh, here as well. I've been to that book several times. So wanting to look a certain way, wanting to feel more like I felt when I started to feel stronger. I started to feel stronger as just like a, a result of basic, the basic skill of showing up to the gym. Even though I wasn't eating correctly right away, it's still good to show up to the gym to learn to not do anything that could risk an injury. Don't you know? go super crazy, overexert yourself, but you can pick up a, a fairly light resistant um, free weight or machine weight and just engage the muscles a little bit, even to the point of not even really getting a light sweat. And it was, it's still good and healthy for the body because any resistance whatsoever through any resistance to the chest, or the back muscles and everything in between the core, arms, shoulders, um, the legs that are holding you up. It feels great. Just that little bit of resistance is basically stretching your muscles. So it's like it's like an active stretching until you get to the point of like really exerting and even how the muscle grows is being having like micro tears in the muscle tissue tearing and then rebuilding over itself with the nutrition that we feed it for repair after 
heavier resistance training. So taking my journey through that, um, I got another video where I talk about how I gained 75, 76 pounds at, from the end of 2022 to the beginning of 2023, so about a year ago. From being much lighter than I should have been, I wasn't even eating enough to really have a healthy meal plan even without any exercise, which was just kind of what, the way I was living just a couple years ago. wasn't exercising much, wasn't eating a lot, so I was lighter than I should have been. And then I jumped right back into bodybuilding and eating 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 calories plus for a few months and gained 75 pounds. And I got you know, nice and swole, a little bit of body fat, and greatly increased my strength from muscle memory as well um, and without steroids. So... Through my journey, I learned that starting off with something to work with as far as what to eat, just pick a calorie count that is an, edu an educated position depending on your body weight and the body fat composition that your body has. You could really tell a lot just by visually checking where's the body fat at, you know, and compared to what... Um, the muscular system is in the body. I mean, everybody should at least spend a little bit of time. I've spent it in several different places, you know, basically seeing the anatomy of the body, where where the muscle groups are located, a little bit of what the job is of each muscle group. You know, muscles that are typically in front of your body are pulling parts of your body this way. The muscles basically behind the back of your body are pulling your muscles in that direction. Triceps back there, rear delts are back there back is back there that pulls everything in this direction the lower muscles in your back you know hold they hold you up muscles in the front hold you up this way you know and they're kind of always like pulling against each other primary secondary antagonist protagonist muscles that's why there's push days and pull days in the gym and then lower body days and upper body days core is everything from the front of your body all the way around the middle and the back this whole core your abdominals are located so simple stuff like that simple workouts either lightly engaging the muscle or getting into um, which I think is really healthy for everybody who's got the cap the ability to do it in the best way they can is heavier resistance training um, and what that does stretching out your body activating the muscle while you're doing it to running your body as a machine the rest of your day, whatever it else it is that you're going through, um, it helps you, your focus just roll through your days on, okay, I'm doing this when I'm outside of the gym, I'm doing this when I'm in the gym. And the two have to be um, productive along with align, align it, um, with each other because not getting a good nutrition outside of the gym and kind of planning your day on top of just eating right, preparing the food, get it, acquiring the food, then preparing it, having it ready at the right time. That's, that entails other jobs, other branches of things to do. So it can take up your time and your focus in positive ways. And then that, that means that that takes away uh, other time out of your day and week that you would otherwise spend Worrying about things, stressing about things. So if you're worried, if you've got things that worry you in your life and things you're stressed about, beginning a fitness program for yourself doesn't have to mean you're going to be a competitive athlete or a bodybuilder or look a certain way even really off the bat anyways, but just basically using weights to stretch your muscles and use them for what they're meant to do. It really just helps straighten out your body, fix your posture. Um and really cultivate a better energy within you to to start feeling better all the way around the rest of your day. And so and then you just keep up with this over time without even really thinking about or focusing on too much change to like some big transformation, but just, just worrying about the daily steps and um, getting a little bit of that resistance training in. And then you're focusing on, okay, acquiring the right food 
consciously, you know, choosing the right food, then you get a little bit of practice and discipline all day. Every time you make a food, a food focused decision and you decide purpose with your food and it's being in alignment with your fitness program, your, your resistance training, your exercise to fuel your body and repair your body for that purpose. Now you're fortifying basically muscles in your brain that like literally grow every time you make a decision that's out of discipline. You know, you're choosing what happens to you and you're choosing what goes in and out of your body rather than just kind of letting things flow or choose, letting comfort be the key to all your decisions because that could lead to disaster. And so, and, and in my experience through, you know, some stress and, and worrying through my childhood years, teenage years, early adulthood, had a child when I was 20 and had three more when I was 29, 30, and 31, I think, or 30, 31, and 32, actually. And a marriage now and, you know, all the different things that come with that, plus custody battle with my oldest child for like over 10 years, so... It helped me get through a lot of that stuff. And that was in my early 20s where I started it. And it's basically still, you know, has after effects that even run on into this day. So there's a lot of things that have stressed me out. And then just kind of having a fitness program. Not, you know, in my choice. Um, not getting into a serious uh, expectation or, or thought of like having to compete with everybody else either. As far as like jumping into drugs for fitness. Um, it's something I did a couple of times throughout my my life that very briefly um, and uh, even just in my experience there or even basically observing others do it for a long time to this point it's just not something I want to mess with plus I'm a father I want to be careful with my health and so just actually basic muscle activity and healthy decisions throughout the day and you focus on all the little tasks throughout throughout each and every day um, everything turns off or turns out to be a lot better because focusing on the small stuff keeps our brain focused all day and there's no, it really takes away from all the idle thoughts, stressful thoughts, worrying that come with not worrying about that stuff all day because it can be easy not to worry or, or choose discipline um, throughout the day as far as what you're eating and how you're going to get ready for your next exercise you know, routine that's coming up, and then you just have idle time, it's like it's comfortable to kick back, and like, oh, at least I don't have to worry about choosing everything I'm going to eat, or how I'm going to work out, or show up here on time to make it all fit into my life, where I got a lot of things I'm doing. It's easy, I would just not do that, that leads to the idle thoughts of, you know, stress and worry, and then the energies that come with that to a body that's not exercising on a regular basis, especially the, you know, the higher part of that is like doing some type of resistance training, not being a crazy heavy weight lifter, but something that's a little bit challenging for yourself, for your body, cultivate good energy. Um, so there's decisions that have to be made, but overall it's a great turnaround for life mentally, physically, posturally and then all those things start working together and working together your posture is a little bit better you can feel all the muscles in your body when you move and it feels like you, the stronger they are and the more tense they are they'll stay a little bit they'll stay a little bit more tense which means like you know harder which is a healthy thing not that your joints are all tense instead they when the muscles are stronger and used better and, and you got to exercise them to make them you know stay valid basically they'll hold up your posture a lot better and then the, the it takes the stress off of all the joints and ligaments that are just crunching together after you know get that muscle working stretch it out feed it well um you can sit up straight or stand up straighter and that helps you breathe better helps you you know helps you heal better um, close this video out. One thing I've been thinking about doing and realizing after watching, you know, my children and, and observing basically what what children are and how they're, you know, they start off literally rolling around until they can crawl and like crawling awkwardly, crawling, climbing onto things, um, and basically just being real close to the floor and rolling around and stuff. Especially the smallest babies, they're mentally growing the most, physically growing so fast. Um, and the mental side of it, everything that they're soaking in, um, and they're getting like whole body workouts. So 
think part of like what's what's good in anti-aging is I might get some time where I just don't allow myself. You know, jujitsu is a good good choice as well. But even at home, just kind of rolling around, stretching, and not let myself stand up for a little while. You know, roll around on the ground, stretch, get into you know positions that basically the, the those are benefits from like yoga, uh, basic stretching routine to jujitsu, which is rolling around with the resistance of another another human being um ready to choke you out <laughs> um that's something i want to go back to too but yeah basically keeping the body low to the ground you know and um using all the muscles to move around kind of like young children do staying healthy and limber in that way so that is uh a little bit of the list of the values and the benefits that fitness has brought to my life through lifting weights, through move, just moving around, um, things that have helped me feel better at work, feel better in my own clothes, you know, in, a, in, in, in the life that I have to literally experience through this body is so much better when my body feels a little bit better. Do for a long period of time, your body will really just start to you know, basically everybody can make it there to, to a pretty certain extent that you can, you'll basically look really great too the more that you put into working on your body and moving around. Just stay consistent for a long time, make it real habits. All the other benefits outside of it stay there. And then on the cool side, it's like, it's like more like a side effect that your body starts reflecting that and start looking athletic, feeling really great, feeling super more, way more confident, you know, self-esteem goes up. Maybe that'll lead to better life decisions and relationships connections networking stuff like that and leadership as just being an example for other people to learn from especially the little ones so appreciate you guys watching today just waited a little bit longer on a topic this week wasn't even an upload issue just was kind of gathering my thoughts on something i wanted to make a more meaningful speech on so you know what better than to go on to some of these essentials like what fitness has done for me. So I can help you do that too through, you know, hit click any of the links below this video or reach out to me, Instagram, direct message, American Fathers, YouTube, American Fathers. Um, and I'll help you out with a nutrition program and based on my experience and um, a workout program and, and meet with you, talk with you about life. If you got things in common like with what I went through and you want some guidance there, I can meet with you every week. One-on-one um, -on -one time, we're in a group time, and we're, we're uh, other people um, with similar issues and aligned goals we can all get together and choose what to do and what not to do throughout every week, stick together, and push for a better life. All right, Monday, Wednesday, Friday is, when, is my goal of getting these videos out like this one today, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. every single week. And book reviews coming up, moving through the New Testament. And then I got a lot of new books that just came in, showed up in the library, reorganized some of the books. So that's been pretty great in hearing some new bookshelves on the way. So I've been, I've been enjoying doing the book reviews. Hope you guys like them. And I will catch you guys in here on the next one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the morning.